So this is a 3D print or a go at the uh, NASA, the DJI F450 top plate test print. It turned out fairly well. Just wanted to start with something that could easy, easily replicate and try to mount the uh, flame wheel arms. Now this is really flexible. It's actually only a millimeter thick, but I wanted to make sure that I had the alignment working well. All the holes line up and I've gone ahead and done a higher resolution print which is in progress. It's a uh, five shells so you can kind of see the outline around it. There's five shells there and then the layer thickness by default is 0.27 millimeters. I kicked that down to 0.2 millimeters just so you get a few more layers and the infill I've set at 15%. So it'll be nice to see how this turns out because I have a few design ideas for a quad and hex hexacopter uh, plates. And you can really tell the difference in a print. These just layers and seams are really tight and smooth compared if you're printing on lower quality. We're at about 90% done. So there is our top plate. This took quite a long time, one hour and 23 minutes to print the high res version of this one I had originally done. You know, one millimeter thick, very low resolution F450 top plate. I'll peel this off and see. Just try to mount one of the uh, NASA arms or the DJI arms to the plate just to see how it how it holds up. So this, with this high high res print, this thing is really stuck to the plate. So I'm just doing a little, seeing how long it's going to take me to get this thing off. Wow! There we go. I mean, this thing is super rigid. Wow. Here's the comparison, just from the thickness. This standard top plate is, actually I measured it, it's, it's about 1.7 millimeters thick. And so our copycat 3D printed version is two millimeters, but I'll weigh them too, they actually fill pretty comparable. So let's go ahead and try to mount an arm to this thing and see how it looks. Let me just show you one more thing, that's kind of just a quick flex test. This thing is pretty hard to, you know, I can feel it flex. You probably can't see it much. If I take this 3D printed version, it's, it's really, you know, this is definitely the most rigid print I've done. So I, I, it's probably attributed a lot to uh, just the, the shrinking of the layer um, height on these prints from 0.27 millimeters to 0 0.20. Okay, here we are with the F450 top plate mounted to one of the DJI arms and it's really that's a nice fit. I was worried about the alignment of the holes, but um, I'll do. I actually want to do a how-to video uh, that demonstrates just the process that I use to kind of trace these parts and get everything exact. It's it's working fairly well, um, but you can kind of see. I only have the one spare leg at the moment. Uh, the rest are on my TBS Discovery frame, but I'd like to give this a fly sometime soon, and I'll post a video that shows that. Um, now keep in mind that 
I can design a bottom plate, but I don't have a way to do like a PCB for the power distribution board. So it would probably just be either I do a bottom plate and use a separate distribution board or just use the standard bottom plate for the time being. And if you're interested in this uh, top plate, I'll actually put the uh, files for download on garagepilots.com. We'll put a link to our GitHub page and all that. But um, that's it for now. I hope that was somewhat useful and thanks for watching.